look at this of flow that is this small creek should not be over this grass here and should be just so a line between the trees but definitely not onto these trees I will search a video and I will put it here from one month or two to see how it should look like it is so big here is the dam or how it's called look how the water goes into this lake I never seen this creek this big before and we had the lake to come out all the way on this street but this creek was never so big so yeah let's see if we can catch something I have this small minnow kind of thing I put the hooks in although it's a bit off this hook but doesn't matter looks nice in the water hopefully the fish will see it it's very muddy this water I don't know if the fish will see the baits or even if there is fish right now I guess we'll find out the rain stopped for a couple minutes but starts again which is not a problem I'm kind of waterproof right now with the clothes I'm fishing for perch and pike. Opala. What was that? Let's see this side. From here I can throw, but I can go over here. And try it from this side. I had never, I never had luck on this lake. I think I caught an eye, couple small perch, and my first pike I caught here. But other than that, I had basically zero luck. So good thing I have my big boy uh, weathers big boy's pants because I can just skip over this vegetation here and don't get snagged so here we have this fresh water flow I'm hoping for a couple pikes maybe to hunt here to ambush the the Maybe this is too small for a pike, but a bigger perch or an eyed will do it. Always a new fish for predatory fish, and even if the water is clear or it's muddy, when you reel the bait back, do a couple of these before you take it out because you never know when you have a follower and they can attack your lure on the last time I let it sink and I try it on the bottom maybe something is on the bottom perch, something, nothing well 
What the hell? Let it sink. You know it's on the bottom when your line goes like this and it gets like a belly. Then you know the lure leech the bottom. I'm gonna try to see if I can cross over this and I will lose this top water there on the grass. Maybe we can catch something there, but I have to be careful not to get stuck here. If it's very muddy or something, but the ground looks fine. I'm glad I bought these weathers because it opens so much more opportunities to go fish. I'm curious because of this small creek, it's flooded now. I'm curious if maybe here between the grass is something. I see, although I see no movement. I see no movement, but the water is just so dirty. You can see shit, but I thought maybe if I can do a little bit of the noise with this lure, maybe it will attract something.
look at this place basically this river is on the road what the hell damn well this way will be a little bit hard to find where the fishes are but challenge accepted i have to be silent here because i'm fishing for pike and i see a couple of movements there i don't know if it's pike maybe it's eyed or something but here in this side it's a drop off so logically in autumn pike will be there so let me just put my stuff down I have this eel lure, I think it's called. It's made of some eel or how the hell it's called, that fish. I don't know if it will work, but I have a couple more there. So let's get to work. I don't know what kind of fish are there, but holy fuck, how big is the water? Let me just sneak over here. Jesus, how big the water is. Maybe I have to put something more visible because the water is very like coffee. Let me put something more visible. So I decided to go with this one because this tail is kind of reflective in the water. So maybe I see movement. So fish are feeding, I guess. Started raining also. I feel like when it's raining it's better to use a top water but where I have now my license they made a rule that you can fish on these waters with uh, baits which have triple hooks just a single hook or live bait so top water lures, crankbaits Jerk baits, spinners are not in the game. So, wow! Wow, this was something. And he jumped something over there. Wow, this was something. It almost took my road out of my hand. Come on. Maybe it followed it. Wow. Let's throw it right back. Fish are jumping, fish are feeding. So I'm hoping for something big. It looks nice in the water, I don't know if you can see it. Oh man. That was a nice bite. I see a fish. I saw a fish. It's right there under the tree.
do that. What was that? Was that a current or was that a fish? Well, that bite was something else what I had before. I guess it was a pike. What else could bite it that hard? This where I stay right now. A couple of days ago was land. You can see that was used as a pole for holding the roads. The water is really muddy. And this one is not so bad. Look at this one, what color it has. It's crazy. I don't think I will catch something here. I'm wasting my time here. There's no way I can catch something here. It started raining kind of hard, so maybe now would be a Good time for a top water, but of course we can't use top water here right now. So we will do our best with the soft plastic. I barely can, can throw it here because I have trees above me. At least <laughs> they keep me away from the rain. Let me just, if I can, get up on that rock. If it's not slippery, no, it's not. Oh, look at that. Well, this is the place you can throw it to. No, we need just a pike. A couple of days ago I was standing there, where is my end of my road, and now, now it's crazy. So I think this will be it for today. I got zero fish but i think it's not that easy to find fish when everything is like five meter higher than it should be so i tried my luck today was no catching just fishing thank you for watching and see you next time maybe when the water will go a little bit down because that does just too much